Good evening. On this, the 20th day of December in the year of our Lord, 2017, in the presence of our degree candidates and faculty, members of the Board of Trustees, our overseers, members of the Women's Council, alumni, honored guests, and friends, the December commencement of Bellarmine University is hereby officially in session. <laughs> to all here present, we extend a most cordial welcome. Dr. Melanie Prajan Sullivan, Director of Campus Ministry, will offer our invocation. Please stand. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Creator Spirit, our God who loved us into being and sustains us with gifts of abundance. Your gifts of these last two, the darkest days of the year, remind us to be, to rest, to wait in stillness, then to celebrate light, illumination. Looking back on their earliest days with us, our students were welcomed with Bellarmine hospitality and then the gifts of homework and papers, projects and experiments from our faculty blessed them with an awareness of their gifts and talents in search for their true selves in the inclusive spirit of Thomas Merton. The gifts of service and social justice, of career exploration and prayer with our staff helped them to make them aware of how their hands could heal a troubled world, inspiring us to help create flourishment. Illumination, hospitality, merchant spirit, inspiration, your gifts, O oh God, our values, and we are grateful. We invoke your presence among us this evening so that we might celebrate with appropriate awe and listen attentively to the speakers, especially our honored guest, alumna, Alumnus, excuse me, Archbishop Thompson. Our task is to be aware of your presence so that our graduates will bring their best to their future clients and supervisors, students and patients, family and friends. Be with us, Creator Spirit, we pray in veritatis amore. Amen. Please remain standing if you would and join Dr. Mark Keno, a faculty member in our music department, in singing the national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare. star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave please be please be seated recipient of the honorary degree will now be presented and conferred by the president of Bellarmine University, Dr. Susan M. Donovan.
Good evening. Our honorary degree recipient, Archbishop Charles C. Thompson. Not so long ago, Archbishop Thompson was on the other side of the lectern. He received his bachelor's degree from Bellarmine in accounting in 1983. He then earned a Master of Divinity degree from St. Meinrad Seminary and School of Theology in Indiana and a graduate degree in canon law from St. Paul University in Ottawa. He was ordained as a priest in Louisville in 1987 and served in several local parishes before being appointed as Bishop of the Diocese of Evansville, Indiana in 2011. In June of this year, Pope Francis chose Archbishop Thompson to lead the Archdiocese of Indianapolis, where he shepherds a Catholic community of more than 223,000 parishioners in 133 churches. He is known for his kindness, his thoughtfulness, and his unflagging commitment to faith, service, and to those in his care. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the trustees of Bellarmine University, it gives me great pleasure to confer on Archbishop Charles Thompson the degree of Doctor of hum Humane Letters Honoris Causes. And it is my great honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Archbishop Thompson. It is good to be back down south where people talk normal down here. <laughs> I've never done one of these and so um, Dr. Donovan told me I could go on for about 30, 40, 50 minutes or whatever, so I'm just teasing. Archbishop Kurtz, uh, Dr. Donovan, uh, members of the Board of Trustees, uh, administration, faculty, staff, and graduates, and family and friends, it's an honor to be with you tonight. Given the current times that we are living in and the fact that this commencement is taking place deep into the season of Advent, it seems appropriate that we consider the virtue of hope. Hope, along with faith and charity, is a theological virtue from which all other virtues flow. Pope Benedict XVI, prior to his resignation for reasons of health, wrote an entire encyclical letter on hope, in English called Saved in Hope, Space Salvi, promulgated in November of 2007. The title for this encyclical letter was inspired by St. Paul's letter to the Romans, especially chapter 8, verse 24. In hope, we are saved. Elsewhere in his letter to the Romans, St. Paul speaks about the faith of Abraham, our father in faith. About Abraham, St. Paul writes, he believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations. Hoping against hope. Tonight, we celebrate a wonderful milestone in the lives of you graduates. Don't get too excited. Bigger fools than you have done it. I made it, so. <laughs> but it is a great milestone in your lives, in your education, in your journey. Today marks the completion of one chapter while turning the page to begin yet another chapter. You are able to realize the accomplishment of this particular goal of graduation for a number of reasons. Obviously, you have proven 
to possess the focus, the determination, the ability, and perseverance necessary in arriving at this particular moment. Still rather, rarely, if, if ever, does anyone get to this point on his or her own. There are often family members, counselors, teachers, classmates, bosses, co-workers, and others who provide various types of assistance and encouragement along the way. If you do not already have a job, you will certainly be looking to secure a career which fits with your field of study and degree. Of course, that may not happen. I have an accounting degree from here, so. <laughs> After all, there are debts and bills to pay, no doubt. Most likely, there is a sense of excitement and anticipation about the future, as well as some possible uncertainty and maybe even a little trepidation. Here in this present moment, we take stock of the past while looking toward the future. Not to dampen your spirits or place a dark cloud over today's celebration, but we cannot overlook the fact that we live in a wounded world marked by various forms of addiction, racial divide, scapegoating, abuse, violence, and polarization. These tend to prompt fear and guilt, distrust, bitterness, resentment. In the place of such tragedies, people tend to retreat into isolation, defensiveness, defensiveness and despair. The consequences are apparent in the brokenness of both individuals and families. Every fabric of society, culture, economics, politics, religion, and relationships is impacted. While no one expects you or any individual or even class for that matter to solve all these problems, each of us must be willing to contribute to a viable solution that is rooted in the principles of Catholic faith of which, upon which Bellman University is founded. Bellman University exists not just for the well-being of individuals, of its graduates, like you and me, but for the sake of the larger community. Formation and education are the primary means of transforming lives, families, communities, nations, the world. Each one of you has the talent, the unique gifts, to go along with what you have learned and accomplished here at Bellarmine. Certainly, you look to put those gifts, talents, and education to good use in making a living for yourselves and your families. The purpose of your education, however, does not stop there. Education in the Catholic tradition is to meant, to, meant to create persons of faith as well as good citizens. Through the courage, courageous and generous gift, use of your gifts, talents and education for the sake of others, you serve as ambassadors of hope to inspire healing, restoration of justice, a spirit of mercy, and renewed confidence in both God and humanity. The manner in which you live, work, and bear the fruit of your education makes a difference. As Pope Francis encouraged young people at the 2016 World Youth Day in Krakow, Poland, do not be afraid to leave your mark on the world. In the Gospel of Matthew, as we recently heard just a couple weekends ago, Jesus tells the parable of a man who, before setting out on a journey, called together his servants and entrusted them with his possessions. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Upon his return, he settled accounts with them. The first used their two gifts, their gifts and talent, abilities to double their talents. The third, whether out of fear or laziness, had buried his talent. His master was very disappointed. The point of the parable is to point out that the Lord has gifted each of us with particular talents that are not meant merely for ourselves, but for the building up of his kingdom and in service to others, not to hide our talents. In his encyclical letter, Laudato Si, on care, for the, our, on care of the earth for our, as our common home, Pope Francis comments, rather than a problem to be solved, the world is a joyful mystery to be contemplated with gladness and praise. Our ultimate task is not so much to solve the problems of the world as it is to lead others to encounter the one who can save us, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. To do so, we must be in relationship with him through prayer, through our knowledge of the word of God, through sacraments, and through service. 
The Holy Father, Pope Francis, in his encyclical, notes, that the intricate, notes the intricate nature that each one of us has in four relationships. Our relationship with God, with others, with self, and with creation. As Father Thomas Merton, the world-renowned Trappist monk of Gethsemane, wrote, no one is an island. We are social beings by our very nature. As Pope Francis exhorts us, we must make use of everything at our disposal disposal to cultivate a culture of accompaniment, dialogue, encounter, and mercy. Few, if any, are better prepared to make this happen than you graduates. And so, dear graduates, today we honor you for all that you have accomplished in arriving at this moment. We pray that you have the courage, the humility, and the generosity to realize the potential of all that you are and have become to make a difference in your families, your communities, your places of worship, and society. Do not be afraid to leave your mark. The mark in which you have, <clears throat> the mark in which you have been created in the image of God and claimed by the Lord. Leave this mark on the world. Today is a day of celebration and hope. You bring hope to the lives of many. Against all odds, dare to hope. Dare to be a cause of hope. Dare to bring hope to the lives of others. In the end, as St. Paul writes to the Corinthians, there are only three things that last, faith, hope, and love. Hope does not disappoint. Know in my prayers, my admiration, and my best wishes for you. Go Knights. At this time, we are very pleased to honor an outstanding academic achievement of one of our undergraduate students. She is graduating summa cum laude with the highest class standing and therefore is receiving the Archbishop's Medal for Scholastic Excellence. Archbishop Kurtz will present the medal. Will Brooke Alexis Lynn Weldon please come to the stage? Brooke is graduating from the Bellarmine College of Arts and Sciences, double majoring in criminal justice studies and sociology. Congratulations to you on this outstanding achievement. On behalf of all of our schools, their deans and their faculty members, Dr. Sharon Carrick, Dean of the W. Fielding Rubel School of Business, will present to our president, Dr. Donovan, the candidates who have completed the requirements for their Bellarmine degrees. It's my honor to present the members of the December class of 2017 all of whom, you can applaud, absolutely. All who, complete, whom all of them have com fully complied with the requirements of their respective degrees representing the Bellarmine College of Arts and Sciences, the W. Field, Fielding Rubel School of Business, the Ansley Fraser Thornton School of Education, the School of Communication, the School of Environmental Studies, and the College of Health Professions in which both the Lansing School of Nursing and Clinical Sciences and the School of Movement of Rehabilitation Sciences are housed. Whether these students have completed undergraduate or graduate programs, the curricula that they have completed are inspired and informed by a liberal arts emphasis of critical thinking, problem solving, innovation, and creativity. The students seated before us today, you've been reminded of the Bellarmine mission, which guides us in our teaching and learning of Bellarmine. There's a mission that calls us to develop intellectual, moral, and professional competencies that benefit the public interest, to help create the future and to improve the human condition. So on behalf of the distinguished faculty of Bellarmine University, we congratulate 
all of these students upon their many, many accomplishments and recommend to the Board of Trustees that their degrees now be conferred. Congratulations. All the candidates for degrees and members of the faculty, please rise. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the trustees of Bellarmine University, I hereby confer upon the students of Bellarmine University the degrees to which they are respectively entitled. Graduates, please don your hoods, the symbol of your academic rights and responsibilities. Please be seated. Thank you, Bellarmine Class of 2017. Will the degree recipients please come forward to receive your diplomas when invited by the marshal? The following Doctor of Philosophy in Education and Social Change degree recipients are from the Ansley Fraser Thornton School of Education. Christine Bojanowski. Jack F. Jacobs. Brian Robinson. The following Doctor of Physical Therapy degree recipient is from the School of Movement and Rehabilitation Sciences, Kara Lynn Cannon. The following Educational Specialist degree recipients are from the Ansley Fraser Thornton School of Education, Yasmin Denise Fleming. Whitney Alicia Hodge. Amy Marisa Allgood Rogers. Paul Andrew Sellinger. The following master's degree recipients are from the W. Fielding Rubel School of Business. Master of Business Administration graduates, Jasmine Denver Balls. <laughs> Abigail Lynn Boyle. <laughs> James Wakefield Bright. <clears throat> Sherry Lynn Crawford. Maria Angelina Dedeo. <laughs> Latell Hunter Farrow III. <laughs> Adam Michael Kleincrocht. 
Frederick Rickards Lewis III. Emily May Marksberry. <clears throat> Joseph Samuel Overby. <clears throat> Dakota Austin Schlink. <clears throat> Caroline Grace Sharp. <clears throat> Michael Andrew Stess. Jennifer Lynn Whitworth. The following Master of Science in Nursing degree recipients are from the Donna and Allen Lansing School of Nursing and Clinical Sciences. Sandra J. Kahn. Sarah Jane Faxon. Ramona Francis Sionis. Kulpana Rangaswamy. The following master's degree recipients are from the Ansley Fraser Thornton School of Education. Master of Arts in Education graduates, Kristen M. Arvin. Marina May Bowman. Kara Page Cottle. Amanda Margaret Coomer. Jordan Leanne Cornette. Stephanie Nicole Cutler. Meredith Ireman. Caitlin Grigsby. Marissa Lachey Hall. Amy Catherine Harper. Aaron Jolly. Cody May Judd. Whitney Lynn Crow. Brittany Gail Owens. Carly Ree Phelps. Rebecca Elizabeth Reynolds. Lindsay Esther Saylor. Leah Michelle Schringer. Catherine Agnes Smalley. Catherine Jane Meyer Smith. Rachel Elizabeth Fella. Master of Arts in Teaching graduates. Caitlin Elizabeth Banbury. Melissa Black. April Lee Buckler. Victoria Glendening Havard. Chazity Lee Headley. Gregory Thomas Velez Hillenbrand.
Melissa Nicole Holiday Algis. Catherine Elizabeth Sanchez. Nicole Marie Smiley. Ryan D. Valentine. The following master's degree recipients are from the School of Communication. Master of Arts and Communication graduates. Abby Lee Bondurski. Christy M. Garcia. Sarah Shumway Schubel. Sarah Rose Sinnott. Master of Science in Digital Media graduates, Morgan Clark Davis. Michelle Elizabeth Crawl. Lepicola C. Siatani. Kevin Alden Spradlin. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from Bellarmine College of Arts and Sciences. Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science graduates. Elise Claire Amshoff. Jacqueline Michelle Barr. Marshall Amix Berry. Abigail Kennedy Biddle, magna cum laude. Courtney Sue Caldwell, cum laude. Andrew Nicholas Christensen, cum laude. Genesis Bertina Claure Navia. Julia Marie Click, summa cum laude. Ann Chajewski, summa cum laude. Jordan Elizabeth Dagenhart. Rachel Louise Daniel. Shelby Elizabeth Erickson. <laughs> Laura Lee Finke, cum laude. Jose Carlos Flores. Geneva Laval Graham. Justin Michael Gregory. Whitney Alexandra Hayes, cum laude. Kelsey Marie Hicks. Chelsea Brooke Himes. Haley Marilyn Hunt, summa cum laude. Courtney Justice, magna cum laude. Zachary Tylian Quo. Jordan Dean Karras Marshall. Tyler Edward DeRay McCoy. Phoebe Ann McDermott, and her diploma is being presented to her by her father, Timothy McDermott, staff member in the Campus of Facilities Management Department. Tyler 
Nelson Pauley, summa cum laude. Megan Lee Rayleigh, magna cum laude. Madison Elizabeth Ray. Joshua Michael Rue. John Isaac Santucci, magna cum laude. Annie Nell Wadley. Brooke Alexis Lynn Weldon, summa cum laude. Gina Nicole Winches. Andrea Joy Williams Neal. Sierra Jordan Wright, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Nicole Younger, cum laude. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from the W. Fielding Rubel School of Business, Bachelor of Arts graduates. Tanner Edward Davis Banks, cum laude. Caleb Markle, sorry, Caleb Mark Blust. Jonathan Hunter Boschert, cum laude. Trevor Christopher Brinkman. Emily Louise Bryant, magna cum laude. Benjamin Carson. James Trevor Connor. Andrew Eversledge. Thomas W. Filiatro. Samantha Lynn Hewen. Lucas Hayden Jones, magna cum laude. Jacob Stephen Kaufman. Jose Antonio Legareta Bellin. Frederick Benjamin McKernan. Sanjan Mayhick. Joshua Lee Rodenberg, magna cum laude. Nicholas Allen Setacholi, cum laude. Maxwell Alexander Wiedekamp. Ashley Brooke Wilson. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from the Donna and Alan Lansing School of Nursing and Clinical Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Bachelor of Health Science graduates. Rebecca Christine Jackson. Bobby J. Vest. David Alexander Wheeler, magna cum laude. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from the School of Movement and Rehabilitation Sciences, Bachelor of Arts graduates. Patrick Devin Clark. <clears throat> Marley Elaine Edwards. <clears throat> Catherine Marie Haas, cum laude. Megan Marie Kimbley, magna cum laude. 
Evan Thomas Lloyd. Shelby Renee Smith, magna cum laude. Zoe Ardell Thompson. Joshua O'Brien Williams. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from the Ansley Fraser Thornton School of Education. Bachelor of Arts graduates. Christina Marie Ashley, cum laude. Jessica De La Caridad Finley. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from the School of Communication. Bachelor of Arts graduates, Elizabeth Catherine DeVries, magna cum laude. Tyler James Harden. Tanner Austin Mobley, magna cum laude. Lindsay Robinson, cum laude. Brooke Valentine Thomas. The following baccalaureate degree recipients are from the School of Environmental Studies, Bachelor of Arts graduates, Cody Hanson Mack Gibbons. Elizabeth Simpson. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2017. And perhaps the class of 2017 have some people to thank. Would you like to take the opportunity to... I want to thank Archbishop Thompson for his inspiring remarks this evening and for taking the time to return to his alma mater, Bellarmine. Archbishop Thompson is certainly living the Bellarmine mission using his gifts and talent to improve the human condition. And graduates, I know that each of you, in your own way, will follow his guidance and will do this as well. Bellarmine University serves as a beacon of light for this community, and you hold a spark of that light within you. Carry it with you as you leave this place. And with your service and your good works, do your part to drive away the darkness and division of injustice. I would like to leave you with the Ignatian prayer. Go forth in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering, honor all men and women, and rejoice in the power of the Holy Spirit. May I, may I ask Archbishop Joseph Kurtz to offer our benediction. Please join me now in bowing your head and asking for God's blessings.
God, our Heavenly Father, you are the one who gives all life and all gifts. You give the gift of hope. These graduates ask your blessing. They ask that you make them grateful. Grateful for those special teachers who touch their lives. Grateful for the friendships that they have made that they hope will last a lifetime. Grateful for their family and friends who supported them and made their experience at Bellarmine possible. And they ask as they leave Bellarmine that the spirit of Bellarmine may not leave them. That they be great-hearted people, people of faith, people of goodness and generosity, people of compassion and civility. Lord, through the intercession of St. Robert Bellarmine, St. Angela Marisi, St. Francis of Assisi, bless each one of them, bless their families, bless their future. Let them remember the legacy of Bellarmine, a legacy of such giants as Harrigan and Merton, McGowan and now Donovan. Bless them with that gift of hope that gives them confidence that they have been given special gifts to use for others. As they begin their adventure, which we call life, make them always grateful for that experience which now is their own. Yes, Lord, they leave Bellarmine University, but may the spirit of Bellarmine never leave their hearts. Amen. The words to our alma mater were written by Dr. Joseph J. McGowan, our third president. Today's musical arrangement is by Mr. Richard Burchard, faculty member and composer in residence in the Bellarmine Music Department. Harris Boyer will sing our alma mater, accompanied by the Fleur de Lis Brass Quintet. that you remain in your places until after the recessional graduates. Once again, congratulations. A reminder that your diplomas are available in Fraser Hall right after this. And I also have been asked to, 
talk about the medal you received as you exited the stage. Upon the death of Dr. McGowan, Dr. Taggart, who became interim president, initiated a new tradition here, the McGowan Medal. When she spoke to students at commencement only two months after the death of Dr. McGowan, she said to them, a lot of people were critical in getting you to Bellarmine, and a lot of individuals have been instrumental in your successful completion of your degrees. I suspect the same holds true for each of you. And so I give you tonight the same charge Dr. Taggart gave the students to whom she spoke. Give the medal you received tonight to someone critical to your success at Bellarmine and your journey through your degree. Let that person know that your journey would have been vastly different without that person's support along the way. In short, let gratitude fill your hearts and pay it forward. Indeed, let us all be filled with thanks and joy for the accomplishments of these students. Thank you to guests for joining us and by half of Bellarmine University. Have a wonderful evening and a blessed, joyous Christmas.
Thank <laughs> you. 